exciting, man. This is exciting. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank right. You. It's the first yeah. thing. And secondly, as a Canadian yourself, I mean, you were especially excited to be dressing up as a Mountie. I was. In uh, When Calls the Heart. Tell us a little about your history of watching Mounties. I, I mean, I'm asking this like I don't oh, know. As a Canadian myself, um, I'm very excited for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's great. It was so nice to be asked to be a Mountie. And uh, I mean, there, there was a show uh, in Canada called Due South with uh, Paul Gross where he played a Mountie and, you know, Dudley Do Right. So I got to, like, enter in the, the whole. Canadian line of of of, of oh, yeah. So lovely to, yeah. Mean, those, yeah, they are. Right, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's how we roll up there. Oh, yeah. But you know, come, stepping into these shoes now, you're the new Mountie on the these show. Boots, really. These boots, I mean, that's giants. right. Giant boots to fill. Boots. Because as you know, the diehard Hardies have an unwavering love for Mountie Jack. Really. Yeah, I, I know might have read one or two things about yeah. that. How do you feel about stepping into those boots? I mean, I, at the beginning, it was very intimidating, I think, you know, just because you're joining a uh, story. It's been going five seasons. Um, and uh, yeah, it was intimidating at first, but everyone was just so welcoming and so lovely. Um, and yeah, like, it just, it's, you know, this new Mountie is kind of just bringing some new life into into uh, Hope Valley, but by no means are we like replacing any no. old characters. Like, no, he's I irreplaceable. Like you, yeah. He is yeah. irreplaceable. Yeah. I like and, that you really distinguish that. The yeah, fact that you're not trying true. to replace anybody. This is yeah. just a new character of coming course. to town. And you know, and he's still very prevalent in in in, in the dialogue and in the stories. Like, the, in, I mean, his son is is going to be a Jack. Right. Jack, That's right. Jack is is still he's going to be in the show. So, I mean. Mountie Jack is still talked about quite a bit. Yes, and he his is. His presence is still felt in this season, as I'm sure it will continue to go on. Well, it's not just you know the fans who might be a little bit weary at first. It's also the townsfolk. The townsfolk are wondering yeah. who is this new <laughs> yeah. Nathan guy? Well, like anybody, I think you know, like if somebody comes into the town and nobody's sure about their their past yet or or, or their stories, and uh, yeah, they are a little weary about who who's the new law, who's the new sheriff, right. and all. Well, Mountie in town. Yeah. Well, who's working with the sheriff in exactly, town? Exactly, yeah. Sheriff Bill, and we actually have a clip of Nathan and Sheriff Bill working on a criminal investigation. Let's yeah. take a look. How much longer are you planning on being here? Well, apparently nobody told you. I come with the office. So how does this work? I'll deal with local issues. You handle regional ones. Anything big, we work together. I called Mountie offices in Benson Hills and in Bucks, and I made them alert. Now, what'd you find? Seven rifle shells. They all 308s? Yep. Any other type? The bridge was tampered with. I also found the empty payroll box. They left the box? What? We're missing something. I like these guys bum, together. Bum, bum, I like these two. I like that man. It's a great dynamic. Yeah, you got. it's the whole. You My know, buddy they, both, Jack of them, both of them are trying to find their place right now. You I'm know, excited. And, yeah. In case you didn't notice. Um, <laughs> now this cast, obviously, these guys are super, super tight. Yes. Who have you connected with on the cast? Um, well, I mean, everyone. Everyone's reached out and, and, and been super supportive and really nice. Uh, it has been so nice to have Chris um, and Caleb, like two new people that kind of yeah, were on the yeah, show. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, it, it's been really nice to kind of have them there to, uh, you know, to be friends with and, and so mm -hmm. you don't feel so alone kind of joining them. But, I mean, Erin was so lovely. Yeah, she's just wonderful. Everybody on that cast. They're is all so incredible. Her. And I know you uh, share a lot of screen time with Jack Wagner, Sheriff I Bill. I do, like yeah. We're kind of like now. the buddy cop, you know? It's like, they hate each other, but they love each other and they're not like, yeah. It's, <laughs> Great. And you guys are getting along pretty well. In fact, I, I think it's fair to say that you won him over. Let's take a look. Oh, really? Kevin. Hey, hey how hi. you doing? Hope you're enjoying your time on Home and Family. You know, I'm going to tell a little secret about you, about how you were a little close to the vest when you joined the show, a little quiet, not letting anything out. Really? And then you actually found out that I was a singer and a musician. <laughs> well, let me tell you, folks. The guy couldn't stop singing Broadway tunes and singing on the set. <laughs> Every day, he came out of his shell. Kevin, get back in your shell, okay? <laughs> Stop singing, hit your mark, say your lines. 
great advice. That's oh, great you advice. Love that. you great love advice. That. Broadway too. I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't have no, figured about Broadway, Broadway, Broadway too, guy. But that's God. amazing. I do. I like to sing a little bit. And yeah, but so does Jack. And he was kind of telling me all about his his history and what he used to do. And yeah, it was it was great. Well, one thing we do know for sure, without doubt, is there is no shortage of amazing hair <laughs> on the set True. of What Calls the Heart. Yeah, and yeah. it's apparently something that's a little bit of a, an amusing fact. Look at that. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, look at Chris. Look at look at Aaron. Like it, it's. I am just, for, for a frontier town, there must be loads of hair gel somewhere yeah. in, that, in that town. That, uh, it's, it's crazy. Everyone just looks so great all the time. Well, we're going to give you the opportunity to return to Hope Valley okay. with a, a, a huge supply of hair gel. What? Cameron would, for everyone. Oh, I man. I want you to run out. What is <laughs> this? In order to be able to take this with you back to Hope Valley, yeah. you need to identify correctly oh. the beautiful quaffed mane of your good friend Jack Wagner. So if we could get the photo. Let's get let's get the let's, graphics let's up there. Let's see the photo. Okay. There. So oh, which easy. one of those hairlines? Which one is easy? I mean they're all let's just say they're all fantastic. Yeah. Uh three three is definitely Jack. There, there you go. go. Oh my god, that is amazing. Wow. Well deserved. Oh, thank you. Well